Hello friends, in this session, we will be solving numericals on induced voltage. Let's begin. Yes, see here. See this one. They are asking three phase exposure. Let us first of all write down given data. Let me write given data first. See here, what have they given? They have given three phase, six pole. Means poles is six. P is equal to six. Three phase already given, no need to write. Star connected, yes, star connected. Right? Alternator. Revolves at 1000 RPM. 1000 RPM, guys, which means N is equal to 1000 RPM. The next one is given, sir. This data has 90 slots. 90 slots means S is equal to 90. Let me write. 90 slots. And 8 conductors per slot. Which means conductors per slot is equal to 8. Right? Then next see here. 8 conductors per slot. Then here what is there? Flux per pole. Flux per pole is 0 0.05 weber. Which means average flux per pole. Already we know that. So it is going to be flux 5. Average flux per pole it is, right? For rotating machine. In case of transformer, it is going to be what? Maximum flux. And in case of rotating machines, this flux is always going to be average flux. Already we have discussed about it, right? Anyway, see here. This is flux 5. What is the value given? 0 0.05 Weber. Right? Now I see here. Calculate the voltage generated by the machine if the winding factor is 0 0.96. What is winding factor, sir? See here. KW, winding factor KW is equal to what? 0 0.96. Now see here, let me just take one more. See. When we talk about winding factor KW, KW is what sir? Pitch factor into distribution factor KP into KD. And that value is given as 0 0.96, right? Anyway, see here. We need to find what? We need to find EMF generated per phase and then line also, right? So, what is EPH? EMF generated per phase, EPH. How much is that? It is going to be how much? Root 2 pi. Let me add the EMF equation first and then we will go on solving. F phi NSE Right? This is what the equation we have. Out of which we know that Kp into Kd is nothing but what winding factor Kw and it is going to be equal to 0 0.96. Right? Now see here. What do we need to find? We need to find EPS, right? But then before that, see Kp Kd is known. What you want now? You want frequency, you want flux per pole, which is already given. How much is flux per pole given? Flux is given as? Flux is given as 0 0.05 Weber. Right? So, it is going to be 0 0.05 Weber. That is also there. No problem. Now, let us think of frequency. Frequency, if you think of, see here. See here. They have not at all mentioned about frequency. But, what have they mentioned? They have given RPM and they have given number of poles. And then we know that. N is equal to 120F upon P. P is known. N is known, which means frequency can be known. How much is N? 1000. How much is pole? 6. Let us find frequency. So, F is equal to, see here. Let us take N. N is equal to 120F upon P. Already we know, right? Space and time are same. Anyway, see here. How much is the frequency? Therefore, frequency F. F is equal to how much, sir? N into P by... 120. How much is the answer? Just now we saw it is going to be 1000. 1000 multiplied. What is number of poles, sir? Number of poles is 6 divided by 120. This is going to be 20, 0, 0. It is going to be 50 hedge. So now we have also got frequency which is given by as 50 hedge. What else we want, sir? Yes, it's done. Yes. Only we need NSE. What is NSE? NSE is going to be number of series terms. Let us see. See here. 
Now, here if you see, total slots are 90. Means if you think of this is the machine, right? So, total slots are 90. If total slots are 90, there are 8 conductors per slot. Means in every slot you have 8 conductors, right? See here. Total slots are 90. In each slot, you have 8 conductors, which means total number of conductors will be what? Conductor per slot multiplied by number of slots. So, see here. Let me write total conductors is going to be how much? Conductors per slot multiplied by number of slots. Conductor per slot is given as 8 multiplied by number of slots is 90. So, it is going to be how much? 8 into 90 is how much? 8, 9, 7 to 720 conductors. 720 conductors are there. Right? But these are total conductors. What you want? Let us find out conductors per phase. So, conductor per phase if you think of. How many conductors will be there per phase? Per phase is going to be 720 divided by 3. Why? Because number of phases is 3. So, 720 divided by 3. See here. Total number of slots are 90. Every slot has 8 conductors which means 8 conductors in 1 slot. 90 slots. 90 into 8 which is going to be 720 conductors. 720 divided by 3 will give you what? Conductors for 1 phase. Why? Because it is a 3 phase machine. Anyway, see here. Let me calculate. This is going to be 3 to the 6. 1 to 4 of the 240. This is going to be 240. Right? But now, what we want? We want number of series turns. Number of series turns. Now, see here, we already know that this is, let us say, conductor, one conductor, let us say, A, and this is, let us say, another conductor, A dash, if you think of, right? So, if you see here, it is back to back, right? So, this is going, this is called as back to back connection, right? Already we know that. Anyway, see here, this is one conductor, this is another conductor. So, two conductors forms, one turn. So, if you have... 240 conductors per phase, which means there will be 240 by 2 turns. If two conductors make one turn, right? So 240 conductors will make how many turns? That is the question. Just cross multiplied. You get the same thing, right? So this is MSC, which is number of series turns. Say here. 240 by 2, 240 by 2 is going to be 120. This is 120 turn. So now if you have also got the value of number of turns. Let us replace it. See here. Let us replace. Let us replace. So if you just see here, this EPH, if you think of, it is going to be what? root 2 pi, root 2 pi is universal constant, no problem. Multiplied by frequency, how much is frequency? 50 hertz. Already we have seen, just seen now. Then what is the flux? Flux per pole is given by 0 0.05 Weber. Multiplied by what is NSE? NSE is number of series turns. We saw that number of series turns, NSE is going to be 120 tons. It is 120 tons which means, see here. This is multiplied by 120 tons. Multiplied by, what is this? KPKD, KPKD given as 0 0.96 KW, winding factors, all the, remember this point, KW is nothing but KP into KD, winding factor, winding factor is equal to pitch factor into distribution factor, anyway, see here, this is root 2 pi, f and stuff like that, just calculate this, EPH equal to, so, it is equal to 1279.55, Volts. I uh, see here, focus. This is phase voltage, right? We also want line voltage. So, this is answer one. Let us find line voltage EL. Why? Because it is star connected. We know that in case of star, E line is going to be root 3 into E phase. Because, see here, if you have star this way, let, let us see, this is star. Right? And this is phase voltage, let us say EPH. This is line voltage EL. Right? 
so if you know el so eph is always going to be el by root 3 or e line to line by line to line by root 3 right so now you want e line which means root 3 will go there so this is going to be root 3 into e phase right now see here this is what is this root 3 root 3 multiplied by this is 1 2 7 9 Point five five, which is equal to two to one six point two four. This is the e line to line, e line to line. This is going to be the end of question four. Let us think of next question. See here in this question, if you see. Yes. See here. Here, what is given data in the question? Let me write given data first. Very simple. Synchronous is easy. Very easy. See. Three phase. Already we know. Eight pole. Yes. Number of poles is eight. Information to write. 750 RPM is given, which means n is equal to 1, 750. Then next, star connected they have given. Yes, important point. Why this is important? Because we know that in case of delta, phase voltages and phase to phase voltages, that is line voltages means in case of delta, if you see, this is delta for example, and here phase voltage as well as line voltage, both are going to be same. Whereas in case of star only, root 3 factor is coming. Anyways, none of at the discussion right now see the next what is given they have given 72 slots 72 slots in armature is slot as 12 so total number of slots is total number of slots is how much 72 right 72 slots in the armature is slot as 12 conductors per slot means total slots are 72 total slots are 72 and there are 12 conductors per slot each slot will have 12 conductors so let me write conductors per slot is equal to 8, is equal to 12. 12 they have given. Then winding is shorted by two slots. Shorted by two slots. I will explain you, don't worry. See here. This is shorted by two slots for timing. Let me write that. Then next, find the pitch factor and distribution factor for the winding and calculate EMF induced between line if flux is 0 0.06 Weber. So flux is also given, right? Flux, flux, phi is, is going to be 0 0.06 Weber. Now, what are they asking us to find? To find they are asking. To find, to find. What are they asking? Pitch factor and distribution factor means Kp. Then they are asking KD and they are asking E line. Right? So let us solve this. This is a very, very simple question. See? Yes. So now we have this given data written, right? Poles are 8750 RPM and all. Let me write what is the solution. Let us let us think of solution. See here. We know that EPH is going to be root 2 pi f phi average nac kpkd right this is what we know this is what we know this is the formula right now see here what else we actually want see what we have first we have flux flux is given right flux is given flux they have given which is yes 0 0.06 paper they have given then is there anything else which we know nothing else so let us try to find frequency first frequency because it is easy to find so let us start with that so now let us see frequency f if we see f is pn by 120 because n is equal to 120 f upon p so just rearranging that equation what we get number of poles is 8 poles 8 into n is 750 rpm so let me just take it 8 into 750 divided by 120 
this gets cancelled this is 4 2 za 4 3 za 3 za right 75 into 2 is 150 150 divided by 3 is going to be 50 h so here frequency which we get is going to be 50 h so now we have our frequency also no problem what is nse let us think of nse now number of series turns see here what have they given us? They have given that the total slots are 72 and conductor per slot, we see here, total slots 72. Each slot will have 12 conductors. So, each slot is having 12 conductors and total number of slots are 72. So, total conductors are going to be? Total conductors are going to be how much, sir? Total conductors are going to be? Conductors per slot, conductor in one slot multiplied by total number of slots so it is going to be conductors per slot multiplied by total number of slots what is conductor per slot it is 12 multiplied by 7 12 multiplied by 72 12 into 72 this is going to be equal to it is going to be 864 and now let us think of but see here these are going to be total conductors Total conductors, right? Total, total, total conductors. You want conductors per phase. Why? Because EMF equation is for per phase only. So, let me find conductor per phase. So, conductor per phase. Is how much, sir? 864 are going to be total conductors. So, this is going to be 864 divided by 3, which is equal to, how much you get here? 288 conductors. This is going to be 288 conductors, conductors per phase. Now, this is 288 conductors per phase. Now, let me think of, since this is 288, now, what are number of turns? We know that. One turn will have two conductors. So, for 288 conductors, we have 288, 288 divided by two turns. So, number of series turns is going to be 288 by 2, which is nothing but 144 turns. Getting my point, right? This is going to be 144 turns. Anyway, so now number of series turns is also known. NSE is also known. What else we need? We need KP and KD, right? We need KP and KD. Now focus here. This is very important. See. KP if you think of. What is KP? Cos epsilon by 2. Right? Yes. KP is going to be cos epsilon by 2. But what is the value of epsilon? Have they mentioned epsilon? If you see here, they have not at all mentioned about epsilon. Rather, they said that winding is shorted by two slots. Now, shorted by two slots and all, what is that? Let us see. Total number of slots are 72. Out of which, Two slots will be short paced, meaning that, meaning that, see here, see here. Let me find slot angle first. Let me find slot angle, you will understand slowly, see. Let me find slot angle. What is slot angle, sir? Slot angle is gamma. What is gamma? Gamma is going to be what? Total electrical degrees. Total electrical degrees in space. Total, total, total electrical degrees divided by number of slots. So that you will get angle between adjacent slots that to electrical angle so this is going to be what total electrical degree total electrical degrees we know how much it is going to be it is going to be what p into 180 because one pole will have 180 degrees electrical so this is going to be p multiplied by 180 divided by slots already we know anyways what is this one this is going to be p what is p poles are eight 8 poles multiplied by 180 divided by slots. How much are slots? Slots are 72. Slots are 72. So this is going to be 8 ones are 8 nines are 72. 9 ones are 9, 20. So this is gamma. Gamma is going to be 20 degrees electrical. This is nothing but 20 degrees electrical. Now, what is given there? They are saying that it is short paced by two slots. Right? See here. Yes, see here, they said that it is short paced by two slots. Short, short paced by two slots. This is not shorted, guys. This is short pitched. 
or short roll also it's okay but let us write let us be perfect in that short twist by two slots in the sense two slot angles because you need angle there right physically shorted by this short twist by two slots right but we want angle there in that particular equation cos of epsilon by 2 epsilon is going to be angle so that angle epsilon is going to be what two slot angles now because physically mechanically two slots will be there short twist means see here if one conductor let me tell you another way if you have one let us see you this is your stator if you have one conductor here one conductor has to be here for two pole if it is two pole let me write two pole this way right already we have discussed but now rather than keeping this here if i have this one here right so it is short twist by two slots in the sense what here between there two slots were there and after that it is going to be there it is there means this was 180 degrees electrical but now we need to find this angle this angle this angle how much is this angle means this this one how much is this angle going to be because see here this one if you see this total this total is going to be 180 degrees and it is short twist by two slots short twist by two slots so two slot angles will be there short twist by two slots so now here you will be having two slot angle that to electrical why because number of poles are also different right anyways chill relax what i am saying is very simple thing slots right mechanically short twist by two slots mechanically mechanically short twist by two slots so electrically we will try to think of as a slot angle because we need this electrical angle this slot angle right so that particular slot angle because see initial all those sums we have seen that they used to directly give us this angle this short twist angles or this one span either they used to give us coil span or they used to give us the short twist angle epsilon directly but now they have done a twisting they said that two slots before two slots only winding has been taken taken back so a and a dash will be now here that is the conclusion so now now they have given us slots slots but we are interested in angle so those slot angles so it is short twist by i can say that it is short twist by two slot angles two slot angles so short twist by two slot angle means so here if you think of epsilon is going to be what two slot angles which is nothing but 2 into 20 degrees which is equal to epsilon equal to 40 degrees epsilon equal to 40 degrees so just replace it there you will get the value of kp how much is kp sir kp is going to be cos of epsilon 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 is nothing but 40 degrees by 2 how much is it so it is going to be 0 0.9396 this is nothing but kp kp is done now what we need else we need kd because see kp is done now let us find kd how to find that see what is kd first see kd is going to be what how much it is going to be it is going to be sin q gamma by 2 upon q sin gamma by 2 right we already know what is the value of gamma gamma is how much 20 degrees we just saw that we just calculated gamma we know what about q sir q is what q is going to be slots per pole per face now let us see how it is going to be there see how many total slots are there sir how many total slots are there sir total slots are 72 right total slots are 72 and what you need you need slots available for distribution which is q which is nothing but slots per pole per face so slots are 72 how many poles are there eight so slots per pole per face face is going to be three so let me write it down 
how is the slots number of slots is 72 per pole how many poles are there 8 per face 3 right it is going to be how much sir yes this is going to be 72 by 8 72 by 8 is going to be 8 ones are 8 9 are 72 3 ones are 3 threes are so this is going to be q equal to 3 you know value of q you know gamma let us find kd therefore kd is going to be how much sir kd is going to be sine of q what is q sir q is 3 3 gamma 3 into gamma what is gamma 20 degrees by 2 divided by what is q again q is going to be 3 sine gamma gamma what is gamma 20 by 2 the answer you get here is kd equal to after solving this you get it is going to be 0 0.9597 0 0.9597 this is nothing but kd now see here we have got all the values right we have got so see what is eph eph is going to be how much root 2 pi f phi nic kp kd right root 2 pi same root 2 pi well, f f was 50 we got flux flux is how much flux given is 0 0.06 weber right so flux is given as 0 0.06 weber so let me write 0 0.06 weber multiplied by what is nse nse is going to be we have seen nse nse is going to be 144 tons nse is 144 tons so multiplied by 144 nse multiplied by kp how much is kp sir kp just now we got here see kp 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 we got to be equal to 0 0.9396 0 0.9396 so it is going to be 0 0.9396 what is, what is next kd what is kd yes 0 0.9597 0 0.9597 therefore eph phase voltage is going to be equal to just multiply this get the answer after solving this we get it is going to be 1730.72 volts this is phase voltage but they are also asking for line voltage so e line to line also asking for line to line so line to line is going to be root 3 into e phase that's it which is equal to how much root 3 multiplied by e phase is 1730.72 volts which is equal to after solving this we get we get 2997.69 this is e line to line that's it e line if we have got kp kd we have found out this is what was expected now let us solve next question so here what are they saying they are saying that four pole let us write given data what is given number of poles is four no problem then star connected yes star connected 50 hertz frequency is 50 hertz they have given no problem then if you think of has 60 slots to so slots is also 60 right with say here 60 slots 60 slots with two conductors per slot means total slots are 60 each slot will have two conductors so conductors per slot is two no problem very easy then and having armature winding of two layer type none of our business it's okay two layer in the sense just just for explanation purpose for example this is one slot right 
for example this is one slot then this is going to have two layers this way and then winding will be distributed like this two layer that's it that's it nothing else this is what two layer anyway see here focus very simple what is next here yes see two layer is done coils are short pitched in such a way that coils are short pitched so let us write short pitched see here coil are short pitched in such a way that if one coil side one coil side lies in slot number 1 other coil side lies in slot number 13 which means see here if you have for example this these are let us say two slots right this is let us say slot number 1 first slot and this is let us say 13th slot this is nothing but 13 slots so if one coil side is placed in first other is placed in 13th other is placed in 13 means after how many slots it is placed 12 slots so here the distance between them is going to be 12 slots see here again dear very easy this is the side of the coil for example if i place this here then after how many slots i will have to place other side of the coil after 12 slots right yes this is in first slot this is in third slot but it is already gone first slot is already gone see this was the first slot after first slot second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and 13th slot if you don't understand let us take it this way see this is the first slot right after that you have second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth and 13th slot so let me write it these are slots right if i have this one here if i have placed it here now after how many slots i will place here one slot two slot three slot four slot five slot six slot seven slot eight slot nine slot 10 slot 11 slot 12th slot in 12th after 12 slots i will place it here right so then this distance if you see it is going to be 12 slots so what are they saying here in such a way that first lies in first slot and another coil side lies in the 13th slot which, which is like okay, no problem because now you will ask me sir but what will be the short pitch angle don't worry see because see here whatever it is it is none of our business why because see let us try to find out let us this is 12 slots right let me find slot angle if if by some means i have slot angle gamma then i can have slot angle for 12 slots And slot angle for twelve slots will give you what? Coil span. This is going to be span of the coil. And then we already know that coil span. One eighty degrees minus coil span will give me what? Epsilon. Short pitching angle. Already we we have discussed about it a lot. Anyway, see here. This is the concept. Now. What is next? They are asking. Determine the useful flux per pole required to generate the line voltage. Line voltage of six thousand volt, which means line voltage is given. E line six thousand volts. Follow sir. What you need? You need to find to find what flux. Flux per pole is required. Let us try to see how we can find. See here. we know that eph is going to be root 2 pi f phi nac kp and kd right now see here eph for our body ph frequency they have given 50 hertz this we need to find nac also we need to find kp also we need to find KD also we need to find, and they have given us EPH. EPH in the sense they have not at all talked about EPH. They have talked about E line means they have given E line to line. E line to line is how much sir? E line to line is given as six thousand volts. 
Just now we saw it is given as 6000 volts. So what will be E phase? Because since it is star connected, since it is going to be star connected, E phase is going to be E line divided by root 3. Line voltage upon root 3. So line voltage is 6000 divided by root 3. After solving this, we get we get three four six four point one volts EPH. So we know EPH also. We need to find NAC, KP, and KD. Let us find. Let us think of KP first. See here. How to find KP? Very simple. See. Come here. KP. What is KP? Cos epsilon by two. Right? What is epsilon? Epsilon is short pitching angle. What do we know about epsilon? See here. For example, this is the coil. Let us say this is a full pitched coil. This is A and this is A dash. Let us say this is a full pitched. So angle going to be 180 degrees. 180 degrees electrical. Electrical angle is 180 because we know that for in case of four pole, mechanical angle is going to be 45 degrees, but electrical angle will still be 180 degrees. Anyways. Forget about it. This is 180 degrees. Now, short pitching in the sense, it will be like this. It will be like this. Let me write it. Short pitching in the sense, it will start at the same thing, but come here back. And then here A dash will be there. This will be for short pitching. So now, this one is coil span. This is coil span. Right, this is coil span, and the total in case of full pitch it would have been 180 degrees. So we know that this one, this this angle, this angle electrical is epsilon. This is epsilon short pitching angle because by this angle only short pitching had happened. So I wanted epsilon, but before that, let us find coil span. How to find coil span? See here. We have seen that first coil side is in first slot. And the other coil side of the same coil, see, this is the coil, A, A dash, this is the coil, right, first coil, second coil, so, this is the first, A, A dash, so, it is in first slot, this is in first slot, this is A, this is A dash, this is in first slot, this is in 13 slot, so, it is going to be how much, first to, back to back connection to 13, means, after 12 slots, means what, see, here. first is gone, second, which will become, first stop, see here, again, Relax, relax. See, this is A, this is A dash, right? This is first coil side and this is other coil side. So just think, just see. This was is it. This is what? This is in the first slot. This is in the first slot. This is in the in the thirteenth slot. So I have to travel to twelve slots. Travel by twelve slots in order to reach thirteen slots. Means I need to firstly go to second. Then this, then this, then this. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. So it is going to be 12 slots. So now what I am saying is I am taking 12 slots here in order to what is there? Which means which means see here very simple. If I am taking 12 slots, so 12 slots is the coil span. 12 slots is the coil span. So let me find slot angle. Let us find slot angle first. Let us find slot angle. Slot angle gamma is how much? Total electrical degrees. Total electrical degrees. How much it is? P into 180 divided by slots. It's going to be slot angle. So P is how much, sir? P is given as P is given as 4 pole. Right? So and total slots, slots, slots are given as 60. 60 slots are given. So number of poles is how much? Number of poles is how much, sir? Number of poles is 6 multiplied by 180 divided by slots is going to be 60. Let me confirm. 4, no, it is 4 pole. This is 4 pole. 4 pole machine is 60. So if you think of this, is this goes 0, 0, 1, 6, 1, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 12. So gamma is going to be 12, 12 degrees. Now we know that one slot means two, two adjacent slots will have angle to be 12 degrees. This is one slot, this is another slot. 
angle between them is going to be 12 degree. So I have to travel for 12 slots here. I have to travel for 12 slots. First is gone. Second, third, fourth, fifth, up to 13. So 12 slots will be there. If there will be 12 slots, then let us find what is the coil span because first coil is here, second coil set is there. So what is the coil span? Coil span is going to be very simple. Coil span is going to be how much sir? Coil span, see here. Coil span, coil span, coil span is going to be what? Yes. Gamma, which is slot angle between two slots, and I have to travel for 12 slots in order to place other coil side. So it is going to be gamma multiplied by 12. How much is gamma, sir? 12. 12 into 12 is how much? 144. This is going to be coil span. Right? But we don't, don't want coil span. We want short pitching angle. Short pitching angle is going to be how much? Epsilon. Epsilon is going to be 180 degrees. Full pitch 180 degrees minus coil span. Minus coil span is 144 degrees. So this is going to be 150, 30, 30, 36. So epsilon. Epsilon is going to be 36 degrees. So just place it there. What do we get here then? Kp equal to cos of 36 degrees by 2 which is equal to cos of 18 degrees what is cos 18 cos 18 let us solve this is going to be 0 0.951 this is kp did done kp we have got now let us try to find kd kp is done we want KD. Let us think of KD. See here. Let me take one more. See guys, KD. KD is going to how much? Sin Q gamma by 2 upon Q sin gamma by 2. This is a formula we have. Already we know gamma is equal to 12 degrees. Just now we found it. Gamma equal to 12 degrees. What else we need? We need Q. What is Q? Very simple. Slots available for distribution or we can say that slots per pole per face. Slots per pole per face. How many slots are there? So 60 slots are there. 60 slots we have seen. Poles is going to be 4 and phases are going to be 3. So if you see here, what if you divide this, what do you get? 4. 4 15s are 60 and then you have this 3 1s are 3 5s are 15. So you got Q equal to 5. We have got Q equal to 5. So just place it here. What do you get here? Sin Q 15. 15 into what? Gamma, gamma, gamma is 12. 15 into 12 upon 2 divided by Q. What is Q here? 5 into sin gamma by 2. How much is gamma? 12 by 2. After solving this, we get. See here, it is not 15, it is 5 here. This is 5. Q sin gamma to write Q. Q is nothing but 5. Sin Q gamma by 2 upon Q sin gamma by 2. Right? It is going to be 0 0.9566. This is KD. We have got KD as well as KPC here. KD is also 1. Now, what we need? We just need NSE. Rest things are already we know. Let us find NSE. To find NSE, see here. What are they saying? They are saying that 60 slots are there and in each slot, two conductors are there. So see here. Total slots are 60. Each slot is having how many conductors? Two conductors, which means two conductor in each slot, which means for 60 slots, you are going to have, have how many conductors? Two multiplied by 60. So, it is going to be 120 conductors per slot, sorry, per uh, total. So, see here, total conductors. Total conductors is nothing but conductors per slot multiplied by slots. Or you can think of slot for cancel. 
one liter per slot they have given is two. So two multiplied by what is number of slot sixty? It is going to be one twenty. One twenty conductors. Now these are total conductor. Total conductors. We need conductors per phase. Conductors per phase is going to be how much? One twenty divided by three because three phase. So it is one twenty divided by three. It is going to be forty. Forty conductors per phase. Now we need number of series turns per phase. We know that two conductors will form one turn. So forty conductors will form forty by two turns. It is going to be twenty turns. Getting my point, right? So then NAC, which we get NAC per phase, is going to be twenty turns. So now let us just simply replace the things. EPH. Equal to root two pi a phi n c k p k d. Let us rearrange this equation. You get phi equal to what do you get? E p h divided by root two pi a phi n c k p k d. Right now, how much is E p h sir? E p h is EPH is how much? Three four six four point one. So divided by root two pi as it is. Multiply by F is fifty. Then flux phi. Flux phi is something. Sorry, this flux phi will not come here, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. This flux phi will not come here. Flux is. Taken here, right? This is nothing but EPH upon root two pi NAC KP KD. That's it. How much is this one? NAC is going to be twenty. Number of series turns twenty. Just now we got. Then next is what? KP and KD. What is KP, sir? KP is going to be. Where is KP? Yes, KP is going to be zero point nine five one. So it is zero point nine five one. So let me take it as zero point nine five one multiplied by. What is the next? What is the next you need? You need KD. KP is also done. This is NAC. So KD. What is KD, sir? KD is going to be this one. Zero point nine five six six. So zero point nine five six six. So average flux per pole that you get will be this much. So just solve this. Get the answer. After solving this, we get it is going to be zero point eight five seven Weber. This is nothing but what average flux per pole. That is what was asked. Let us try to find next question. See here, six pole alternator rotating at one thousand RPM. What is the given data, sir? Given data. What is given? Six pole alternator. Let me write pole is equal to six. The next one is given. Rotating at one thousand RPM. One thousand RPM. One thousand RPM. So n is equal to. Yes. The next what are they saying? They are saying one phase winding housed in three slots per pole. One phase winding housed in three slots. Housed in three slots per pole. What does it mean? What does it mean? See here. Under each pole, there will be three slots for one phase. Get my point, right? For one phase winding housed in three slots per pole, which means for three slots per pole, you are going to house one winding. Which means, do you think that this three is Going to be slots per pole per phase because three slots per pole will have one phase. See here, total slots per pole per phase. So this per phase, see here, three slots per pole means see here, total slots three slots per pole. But now what are they saying? Three slots per pole is having how much? Single phase only, which means total slots per pole 
per phase. So this one is going to be three. I hope you have understood the point because in three slots per pole, you are going to have one winding only, which means what is Q? Q is given as slots per pole per phase. It is equal to what from the given data? Three. Slots per pole per phase is going to be three. Right? Now see here. If each slot has 10 conductors, what are the total number of slots? Total number of slots is not given. But they are saying that each slot contains 10 conductors, which means conductors per slot is going to be 10. Getting my point? The next is what? Flux per pole is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. Weber, let me write flux phi equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. Weber. Right? So now, what do we have next? Calculate the voltage generated assuming the flux distribution to be sinusoid. Flux distribution is, right? Sinusoid will end, right? Because we derive everything for N1, S1. Right, if you remember everything, every equation we have, whether it is KP, KD, or any equation that is meant for N1, S1 only because we are assuming that field is now sinusoid. Anyways, assuming field density distribution sinusoid can be ignored. What are they asking? Calculate the voltage generated. So, to find is going to be voltage generated, phase voltage as well as line voltage we may see. But now, since they have not given you whether it is star or Delta, you have to assume it to be star. Assume. Assume it to have star connection. Now let us see next. See here. E phase. What is it going to be? Root 2 pi f phi NSC KP KD. Right? Now. Let us try to find KD first. What is KD? Sin Q gamma by 2 upon Q sin gamma by 2. Now, for that, I need to find what? I need to find Q. Q is already given. Q we already know. Q is 3. But what about this gamma? For gamma, what is gamma? Gamma is going to be Gamma is going to be how much? Slot angle, slot angle in the sense total electrical degree, total electrical degree divided by number of slots. So this is total electrical degrees is P into 180 divided by slots. We know that now P into 180 divided by slots. Do you know number of slots? No. Do you know number of poles? Yes. You don't know number of slots. So which means number of slots have to be found out. So number of slots will be how much? See. Let us say, slots per pole per phase. It is given to be 3, we have seen just now, because slots per pole per phase is 3. Now, you need to find total number of slots. Because see here, what was there given in the question? In the question, if you see what are they saying, one phase winding housing 3 slots per pole, which means this 3 is nothing but what? Slots per pole per phase. Because, because what are they saying? One phase in three slots per pole. One phase in three slots per pole, which is nothing but what? Slots per pole per phase. So it is three, which is slots per pole per phase. So that is Q, which we have got. Already we know what is Q, Q which is nothing but slots per pole per phase. Now, what do you want? If you want slots, total number of slots. If you want total number of slots, it will be nothing but what? Slots per pole per phase. Multiplied by number of poles into number of phases. That's it. So this last per pole per phase, how much it is going to be? It is going to be nothing but 3. Multiplied by number of poles. Number of poles is how much? Number of poles is going to be 6. So it is going to be 3 into 6 multiplied by 3, which is nothing but, what is that? 6 3 is a 18. 18 3 is a 54. So, total slots are going to be 54. Getting my point? So, total slots are 54. Now, once you have got total slots, just replace it here. What is poles? Poles are 6. 6 into 180. This is poles. 6 poles. 
divided by number of slots. Slots is going to be how much? Just now we saw 54. Total slots are 54. So if we calculate here, it is going to be 6 1 6 9 the 54, 9 1 the 9 2 the 18, 20. Which is nothing but 20. This is gamma. So gamma equal to 20 degrees. Now see. You have Q, you have gamma. What is gamma? Gamma is 20 degrees. Gamma is 20 degrees. How much is Q? Q is nothing but slots per pole per phase, which is nothing but 3 only. So, this is sine 3 times. So what is gamma? Gamma is 20 degrees by 2 divided by, what is Q? What is Q? Q is 3 into sine gamma. What is gamma? 20. 20 degrees by 2. Right? So, after solving this, we get it is going to be 0 0.9597. This is what? Distribution factor KD. Right? I see here. What else you need? What else you need here? KD you have got now. KD you have got now. What about KP, sir? Just focus on the question. Just focus on the question. Six pole alternator rotating gear 1000 RPM has single phase winding to be housed in three slots per pole. If each slot has 10, this thing, then the flux per pole, blah, blah, blah. Stuff is there. Now, here if you observe, they have not at all mentioned anything about short pitching or about span of the coil or about pitch factor. They have not at all mentioned anything about it in the question. When they are not mentioned anything about it, we have to assume it to be full pitch. So, in case of full pitch, Kp is going to be 1. So, you just need to assume that because since not mentioned, Kp equal to 1. Why? Because not mentioned. Not mentioned. So, Kp equal to 1, you have to consider. So now if you think of, you also have the value of Kp, which is 1. Now, let us think of NSE. What is number of series turns? So for that, see here. What are the total conductors? What are the total conductors? Total conductors will be what, sir? Total number of slots multiplied by conductor per slot. Why? Because see here. Yes, if you see here, they have given you conductors per slot equal to 10. Conductor per slot. And you have just now understood that the total number of slots is 54. The moment total number of slots, total number of slots is going to be 54. And in each slot, you have 10 conductors. So, total number of conductors is going to be 440. See here, total conductors will be what? Conductors per slot multiplied by number of slots. How much is conductors per slot? Conductors per slot is going to be 10. They have given. And number of slots. Just now we found out it is 54. This is nothing but 540. These are total conductors. But now if you see our EMF equation is for phase. Which means let us find conductors per phase. So conductors per phase is going to be 540 divided by 3 which is equal to because 540 is what is the total number of conductors out of which you want only for one phase one phase conductors are how much 3 3 1 the 24 3 3 is the 24 0 this is going to be 180 conductor per phase is going to be 180 now what is turns per phase series turns per phase how much is that going to be it is going to because we know that Two conductors form one turn, right? So, 180 conductors will form how many turns? That is nothing but 180 by 2. It is going to be 90. So, number of series turns per phase is going to be 90 from here. So, if you just put it here, see. So, which, which means NSE per phase is also known now. No problem. NSE per phase is also known. So, see here, NSE is also known. Now, next if you think of, what is flux? Already they have given in the question, flux is given. Now, what about F? What about frequency? Let us see. 
they have not at all mentioned about frequency but they have given us that it is rotating at 1000 rpm and we also have number of poles so 120 f by p let us do this one c n is equal to 120 f upon p so f is equal to p n by 120 which is nothing but number of poles is 6 multiplied by number of turns what do you say speed of rotation is 1000 divided by 120 6 ones are 20 50 so f is equal to 50 h f is equal to 50 s so frequency is also known whereas now we, if you see frequency is also known now what else in it nothing else in it just substitute what do we get here what is eph eph is going to be root 2 pi as it is multiplied by frequency just now we got 50 multiplied by 5 what is 5 given what is 5 given plus 5 given is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 weber so it is going to be 2 into Ten to the power minus two Weber multiply by what is next? NSE, NSE, NSE. How much is the NSE you got? NSE is 90, 90. NSE is 90, right? NSE is 90. So it is going to be multiplied by 90. NSE is 90. After 90, what is there? KP. How much is KP? We are assuming it to be 1. KP is 1. What about KD, sir? KD, just now we found KD. KD is going to be 0 0.9597. So it is. 0.9597 just substituting the values after solving this what we get is e phase which is equal to after solving this we get it is going to be 383.74 volts this is phase voltage let us think of line voltage e line to line what is line to line voltage see they have not mentioned whether it is star or delta they have not mentioned right so whenever they are not mentioning always consider it as star so if you think of star then it is going to be root 3 multiplied by e phase it is going to be e phase so this is nothing but root 3 into what is e phase sir e phase just now we saw 383.74 into root 3 therefore e line to line is going to be it is equal to 663 664.2 volts this is the line to line voltage so we will see next problems in the upcoming videos thank you